A lot of the times I think that we overdo it with the action thing and we don't balance that out enough mm-hmm. by doing the calm thing. Yes. So um, I will say that for as much time as I spend training action behaviors with my dogs, I probably spend twice as much, if not three times as much, training calming behaviors mm-hmm. as well. Because I don't like a lot of excitement in the house. I like a calm house. Mm-hmm. I like my dogs to, I let my dogs up on the couch as long as they are, you know, touting the rules and there's no and issue not there. covered in mud and not covered in mud. Yeah. Well, I do have couch covers for those incidents uh-huh. because <laughs> tollers are not. Well, and a you breed do live in the, the, you live in the country. I too, do yes. live in the mucky country yep. and tollers are not a breed for the fastidious. Mm-hmm. Like they're there. You will, you will be upset very, very, very quickly. I have had to learn to live with it mm-hmm. because I like things to be very, very clean. And unfortunately tollers are muckers. <laughs> They're incredible muckers. So, <laughs> right. yeah. but so back to our question mm-hmm. here. I want my house to be calm. I don't want dogs that are always on right. when they're in the house. And mm-hmm. a lot of the times, especially, I find this is especially true with us as sport people. Mm-hmm. We tend to do a lot with our dogs. We bring them out and we rev them and we run and we tug and we play and we, you know, want the mm-hmm. best speed possible right. for agility and fly ball. So we pump them and we get them excited and we really show them their power and mm-hmm. that excitement. We need to be doing just as much to counter that because the dog that comes out and ends up just feeling wild feelings anytime they're out is always going to have that association. Mm -hmm. So I want to make sure that just for just as many times as I bring my dog out for action, I bring him out twice as much to go and lie down or hop up on the couch and lie down or go on their own beds and lie down, depending on the scenario that I'm Mm -hmm. working on. I create and cultivate calm behavior in the house because that's what I want and that's what I like. Mm -hmm. When we are working, when we're in our specific training spaces, when we're out and about, that's the time for excitement. That's the time for wild running through the mud so Mm -hmm. that you can get your your paws wiped off after. But I want to make sure that I do the balanced thing and I spend just as much time training the calm behaviors and creating that off switch, especially with our busy dogs, Mm -hmm. right? Well, some of these breeds, they're bred to work. They are bred to work full time. And they become very stimulated by motion. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I'm just going to look at this again. Yeah. So Corgi, Aussie pup. Yes. This is a busy dog. This Mm -hmm. is a Corgi that's bred to herd. And this is an Aussie that's bred to herd. And both of those dogs need to be powerful in that herding. They need to be able to move swiftly they Mm -hmm. need to be able to react swiftly Mm -hmm. you know one of the reasons that the corgi is the stature that they are and the size that they are is so that they are underneath the cows right but they still need to be able to 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 jump out of the way Mm -hmm. right i'm sure that your corgis were incredibly nimble they were very very yes it's surprising because they have such a a stout little frame but they can move and they can snake that head in very quickly and snake it out and yeah Mm -hmm. they're not the type of dog that is naturally going to go towards calm tendencies. Right. You know, you might have a Mastiff that has natural tendencies to hang out on the couch all day and Mm -hmm. just chillax and has natural inclination to be calm versus a working dog, like an Aussie, a Corgi. Those Mm -hmm. are two working dogs in one. That dog's natural inclination is going to be go, 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 go. So we need to train the stop part. Right. We need to train the off Mm -hmm. switch. We need to help that dog understand how to have emotional control, how to make good decisions Mm -hmm. when there's action going on so that we truly can help that dog live a perfect life. Mm -hmm. 